a driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesteryear. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere.
You're listening to Second Moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. The leader of the city services division is with us in the studio today to talk about why they're contracting with outside agencies to provide vital services for our residents. Isn't that going to be costly, Mr. Councilman? Oh, well, quite frankly, yes. It is an additional expense, but the residents have come to expect a certain level of services, and we simply do not have the capacity to provide them within the city. Sounds like we're the ones who will end up paying for it. Should we be worried? I expect the residents would be more distressed if key services became unavailable. Their quality of life is very important to them. But so is their money. We'll be back after this.
You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Thank you. 